And thanks for joining us again. Now, reports reaching us say amidst the clamor by foreign airlines to repatriate amounting to $800 million. No fewer than four domestic airlines have over $54 million trapped with the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. The money comprises foreign exchange forward paid to the CBN, as well as payment for participating airlines in the 2023 Hajj operations. Recall that the CBN had recently commenced clearing the forex backlog with an assurance that the process would continue until all the obligations were attended to. However, the domestic operators are grumbling over the trapped funds, which they say had stalled their operations as they need dollars for their aircraft maintenance, lease and other obligations. According to the report, the money is being owed to these local carriers include Airpeace, $25 million, Asman Air, $7 million, Max Air, $20 million, and United Nigeria Airlines, $3 million, which sums to over $50 million. Out of the 12 scheduled commercial carriers, four Airpeace, Max Air, Asman, and Aero Contractors participated in the 2023 Hajj Airlift, but their money has not been fully paid. And to other stories, the Director General, National Pension Commission, Aisha Dahir Umar, has urged informal sector workers to embrace the micro-pension plan. Dahir Umar, who was represented by the head, Southwest Zonal Office, Pencom Shola Adishim, spoke during the Commission's special day at the Lagos International Trade Fair, organized by the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Lagos on Friday. According to her, the MPP was being embraced in Lagos and the Zonal Office was intensifying effort at creating more awareness of the MPP within the Southwest Geopolitical Zone. The head of the Micropensions Department at Pencom, Dauda Ahmed, said the MPP was introduced by the Pension Reform Act 2014 to allow individuals working in organizations with fewer than three employees and self-employed individuals to voluntarily participate in the contributory pension scheme and save for their retirement age. And oil marketers have received about 100 gas mass transit buses they promised to donate following the removal of fuel subsidies. The executive secretary of the Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria, Clement Isong, revealed this to newsmen on the sideline of a media pali at the just concluded 17th edition of the 2023 Expo of the Oil Trade and Logistics Africa Downstream Energy Week in Lagos on Friday. He noted that the promised buses had been ordered from Innocent Motors and delivered. The Depot and Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria had shortly after subsidy removal in June called for increased gas investment to provide an alternative to petrol use. It also pledged to donate between 50 and 100 comp compressed natural gas-powered buses to cushion the shock on the masses. During oil marketers' visit to President Tinubu in Abuja, Dapman chairman, who doubles as the managing director of Northwest Petroleum and Gas Company Limited, Winifred Akpani, said the meeting was to discuss the best course of action in the post-subsidy regime. Akpan said the oil marketers lived proactively and at the forefront of mitigating the effect of the removal of the petrol subsidy.